Good afternoon, welcome to my channel JMC Creates. My name is Jackie McKissick and today this is the project we're going to make. Now this project is me being made for um, a YouTube blog hop, or a YouTube hop, I mean, my first ever. So, um, the idea is... You, everybody makes a video and it can't be any more than 10 minutes long so I've already prepared much of mine and um, it's a way of getting people to know who you are and getting them to see what you can do. So the theme is Valentine's so I have made a Valentine's card. I shall just own up to it. Okay, I haven't put anything inside because I totally forgot. So, what did we use? The With Love at the bottom is made with this dye here from Tattered Lace. And I've layered three together. And the top one has Shimmer card on it. Okay, so what did we use? We used these tonic dies these heart dies you get an outer die and an inner die and you can mix and match they also come with three stamps to your hiding um but i didn't use them this time the idea is to make a quick card so that everybody can get viewed um the hearts that i put on it the little hearts were made with this mini treat bag then let's from stamping up what else did I use? The papers I used, this time I'm going non-traditional and I'm using green and blue. And I'm going, the first one was pretty traditional, so I thought I would change it up. These papers and those papers were all from Tonic Craft Kits. I don't know which ones, but there you go. Between 12 and 17, those are the five I have. <laughs> so... That is what we're doing, right? So, because I wanted the Three Hearts um, portrait, I have made a card base that is eight and a half by eight, scored at four and one quarter. Okay, our next layer will then be the blue, and it is double-sided shimmer card. Um, and it measures, it measures, what does it measure? It measures seven and three quarters by four. Okay. And that's your first layer. On. Okay. And the idea is to keep the video short so you can get round everybody. The next layer is a textured paper. And it is seven and a half by three and three quarters. Yep. Seven and a half by three and three quarters. And I'm just putting plenty of glue on this because it is textured. Okay, I'm using Tonic Nouveau glue. Because it came on one of the kits and it was handiest when I ran out. So it was. Okay, that's our second layer. Let me just give that a minute or two to go off. So then, as you can see, I've already die cut my hearts and my three bases. And then... That one belongs to that base. That one belongs to that base. And that one belongs to that base. Okay? So it is just a matter of gluing those down. So it is. So this will go out, I think it's the 28th of January. Um... But today is the 17th of January when I'm making this and Thor was at the vets yesterday. 
So anybody who follows me will know my sore drama. His broken leg, one bone has healed perfectly and the other one is well on the way to healing. So, still plenty of rest. And the bone won't be perfect when it's healed. It won't be exactly where it should be. But let me tell you, it is not holding him back in any way. We have to shut this car. He's actually fell asleep over to the right. That's why I'm on this, doing this now while I can. Because he Pumpkin's gone to Belfast with her mummy. So she has, and um, to visit her friends. So Thor's got nobody to play with. So he's stuck with me. So he's finally fell asleep. After I had to sit on my butt on the floor, cold hard floor, and play with him. So I'm just jumping on to do this. But isn't that just amazing news? I, I honestly believe this cat is a wonder cat. After everything he's been through, you would never know it when you see him running around. And he is the most loving little beast. He comes and he lies down here and he... I have to lie over the top of him like that and put my head down on top of him and pet him. He likes, he's a touchy-feely, he likes to be up close and personal. I think he actually likes to hear the sound of your heart beating. So, then we're just going to put our hearts on here. And you want to put your top and your bottom ones on first so that you can kind of gauge where you're going at. Gauge your spacing. So I think I did it roughly like that. And I'm not pressing these down firmly yet. That will do me. I'm going to go for broke and stick it on there. Right, then I have to stick my with love on down here. Okay, like that. And you have to give it a good press down because once again that is texture paper underneath. Okay. And that's your with love on. Then you need your hearts. What did we do? We did one, two, Three, four, five, like that. That's how we did it. So I'm putting down as much as I possibly can without going OTT. Okay. Give it a good firm press each time. Hold it as long as you can. And maybe put a wee bit OTT on. Who will? Right. One. Two. Oops. Cricket. Cricket match. I'm blinking Doris woke up. He's roaming around the bench there, so if you see him, you'll know why. Maybe it's dinner time. Right, I'm a missing one. Did I drop one? I so thought I had five. One, two, three, four, five. And there it's there. Okay, and then we're just going to put two or three on the hearts. And the piece de resistance. 
course it doesn't want to come off it's on there so that is my pretty quick valentine's card traditional non-traditional which one do you like anyway thanks for stopping by Thank you to Anne at Positively Papercraft for organising this and um, make sure you check out all the other people in the blog or the YouTube hop. Can't stop saying blog for some reason.